Like, imagine walking. Can you go walk in a woods or forest、mm. at, during a day? Can you do that by yourself? I wouldn't. You wouldn't? By, all by yourself? Yeah. In a forest? In a, in like, in a sun, beautiful day. It's very sunny. Like, without、it's、knowing my path? Is that what you mean? Well, is it, yeah. Let's say you don't know your path. l e t s somewhere, I don't know.、Mm. Is it a dangerous place? I'd be afraid of <laughs> getting lost. I don't know if that's where you're, where you're okay, going you with it. You don't need to worry about being lost. Oh, if I'm not worried about getting lost,、uh, I would do it. Okay. Yeah. I would do it. You will do it? Okay. Now, will you, do, will you walk in exactly the same direction at night? No light.、Mm, no. We all know how afraid I am of <laughs> nighttime no, walking. No. She doesn't even walk on her street at night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why, guys? I know, it's a ridiculous fear. Yeah. yeah it、like、doesn't、why? make sense. Yeah. No, let's talk about it. Why? I think it's important to know why. Same location, same woods, same jungle, same whatever.、Uh, we will walk with the same light. Because you can't see、light. what's in front of you. You? Yeah, you can't see far enough. Yeah. You can't control the situation. Or have a semblance of control of the situation. That's the problem. But I have to say but that. But that's what we have to fight against in life, not in the woods. I, don't, I still don't think we should walk in the woods at night. <laughs> you, you know why? Because there is layers of fear.、Yeah. There's like, we think, how about if the wild animal comes? How about if there's someone going to kill us there? How about if you have, a, I don't know, murderer there? Or how about if there is like, you, because you put so many scary things there, right?、Yeah. And how about if none of them exist? Yeah, it's all facing your fears. Yeah. But what if they do exist? Then what if they don't exist? <laughs> I know. What if, if you walk in that wood and you see something that changes your life?、Hmm. So, the, so I'm going to go back to how scared we are from unknown. Yeah. And in a light, we think we see everything, we know everything. We don't know shit. We don't know shit. Seriously, even now we don't know shit. Like, who are you guys? We're so <laughs> tiny in this <laughs> earth thinking we know it all. Absolutely. We know nothing. And we think, like, huff and puff. But、yeah. the thing is, this fear is so man made. I'm saying this, it's not that I don't have a fear. But it's, no, it's constant trying it's to constant. get that out of your head. Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I say fortune favors the brave, it's because there's so much, so many good things on the other side of fear.、Mm. There's so many good things on the <clears throat> other side of getting past your boundaries.、Mm. And, you know, there's so much you can experience and explore, but you have to get there. Yeah. And everybody has their own limits, their own way of doing it. You know, maybe what we're doing is something so outside of the norm for some people where they're like, what you're doing. Yeah. Right now, sitting、yeah. here and having this conversation, most people would be afraid to have. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So, everyone has their own limits, but I think constantly pushing past those limits、mm. really creates growth、mm. and experience.、Mm-hmm. Very true. Yeah. Very and I think、true. the rem- remedy is trying new things like the retreat. Why is that so unique? You're going essentially on a staycation or vacation with people you never met,、mm. right? It's unpredictable. Who are they? How is it? And that's why I think it works. It's important to do or traveling to new places. I love this retreat com- I concept. I had never done it. And I feel now that it's something that I have to do once a year. I think it's part of self care. Self care.、Yes. And not to do the same retreat over and over.、No. I'm realizing to do different ones. Maybe some that are not even something you think like you're into,、mm. but to go just to put yourself in this very new place. And unique environment.、Mm-hmm. I think that that's important. You know, I,、um, from the year that I got divorced, like I was very, very alone in this country. Like I had no family, I had no friend. You know, you were like the, my first friend or like someone that I had. That's why I was calling her like maybe between 10 to 200 times a day. <laughs> you know? I had no one else. You know, and when you're so alone and you don't know anything, Like, you don't know who to ask, who to call, who, like. <laughs> so,、uh, she was leading me so much in life. Oh, that's、But、so special. It is. It's it funny is. to hear her say that because she's led me a lot. But thank you so much. Yeah, we, we came、you. to each other's、thank、life、you. for a reason.、Yeah. And we helped、yeah. each other at,、uh, through our self development a、we、lot. A yeah. lot. Yeah. 
and then um, which it took it took a couple of years, but Mary plays a very big role in my personal growth, in my business growth, in my my exposure to the real world, protecting wow. me, protecting me. Like imagine you had a dad or father or no wonder or I act someone. like her mom. <laughs> Or someone that if you're scared, you call someone. Like, who's that person for me? Her. I was like, oh, this guy. She this had a lot guy. of stalkers, let's be honest. This guy is... She, she had a lot of stalkers. So. Stalking me? Help! <laughs> like, well, let's, we're calling 911. I don't know what to say. You're like, don't call me. Call 911. We're okay. The, we're, yeah, or get a bodyguard. We need to figure this out. Yeah, so... Uh, what I was going to say... Okay. I was going to say that... Um, one second. Trying new things. Try, trying new thing, but I ca I started this lifestyle which everything constantly is new. Hmm. Okay, everything mm -hmm. constant, and I'm like it's yearly and yearly and yearly, yearly uncomfortable, yearly new people, yearly uh, something new comes to my life. Da 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 da. da. It mm -hmm. gives me lots of personal growth, mm -hmm. but also. Sometimes I want attachments. You know, mm. it's funny that you say that because I was just, I just had a vision in my mind of how you were saying about walking into the forest alone. You said alone. <coughs> Excuse me. You didn't say, bless you. You didn't say, walk into the, for, uh, into the forest with Helen and Mary. Yeah. If you had said, walk into the forest at night with Helen and Mary, I would have said, okay, let's do yeah. it. Uh. You know, there, that's about connection. It's about attachment. It's about somebody you can do these things with. The reason why we're here today, you know, yeah, like yeah. I wouldn't do this by myself. Like, mm -hmm. let's be real. I'd be like, no, nah, I know I've got these commitments and this probably wouldn't be right for me. Mm -hmm. But together, it's like yeah. you want to do it. It's fun. It's yeah. exciting. It's it's a different. I'm a little bit a solo writer. I'm, I start things solo. I bring people with me. Yeah. At any which way, yeah, like any which direction of how you want to do it. But yes. that's different. Bringing people along for the ride is different, right? No, no, no. Okay, for example, the first day I came, I said, guys, I want to have a podcast. Like, I'm telling this to my sister or to anyone else. They're like, in the middle of the hospice world and then the home health world and you're launching a pharmacy, you want to have a podcast. So yeah. it's like, like, why? Why do you need this? Okay, so it's like, I have to, it needs to make sense to me as a so solo. Yeah, mm. it has to, right. It has to. Multidimensional. It has to make sense to you. To me. But there also has to be people that will come along with you. Yes. Mm. That will so this is why encourage I'm, you. Yes. Yeah. That is 100%. Without that support, I won't be able yeah, to do Yeah, you can't do it all alone. No. You yeah. can't. No. No. No, 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 no. Never, never. Without my managers, without my team, without my sister, I will never be here. Mm. I will not. Because when I fall, they, they help me to pick up myself. And they remind you. Yeah. They remind you of who you are. They remind me of my own bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and your bullshit. Yeah. They're like, okay, Helen, do you remember what you said here? Now it's time you listen to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you need that reminder. You know, sometimes there is no one to pick you up. Like, and you're like... You fall. Sometimes it's really, really hard. I'm sure every single one of us go through it. Absolutely. In a, my last year, my last 12 months, which, like, when I t want to talk about it, I'm like, I, I really had a hard, a hard life. Between every project that I touched, it went to a fail. It went. It would be like, I give a budget of this, even I spent four times more and I couldn't finish my project and I couldn't figure it out. And it was just because I started all of them at the same time. And then in my personal life, I had problem. I went through a, a breakup. I went through a miscarriage. I went through all of this together. And I was like, huh, like I'm ready to die. It was just too much. But who's going to pick you up? Who's going to help you to pick up yourself? Of course, first is you. Then you need that team yeah. with you. You need that people who Number one is you. you. Number one, it can't get done without you. And number two is that little light, that one person that says, hey, I remember what you were like. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. it's so important. Mm -hmm. I just, I, there's, and there's so many times in people's lives, everybody's lives. I don't care if you're a billionaire. I don't care if you have barely any money. I don't care how successful you think mm -hmm. you are. Everybody needs a helping hand once in a while. Mm -hmm. 
just to remind themselves of who they are. 100%. I went through it, so I know it. I know it. Because as, as much as I, I had success, and at the same time I fall. And yeah. then I have success, and then I fall. I have success, and I fall. That happens to me on a yearly basis, so I know the pain. I know the pain. Tell me, who do you call successful? Mm. Who or what is success? Which For one me, do you like to answer? Success is not, like, I don't think being a billionaire is success. Mm -hmm. I don't think, you know, being famous is, is success. For me, success is within your own mind and heart, if everything is aligned, your mental health, your spiritual health, your physical health, if all the pieces are aligned within you and you're at your best serving a purpose that mm -hmm. makes sense for you, mm -hmm. I think you're successful. Mm -hmm. And we can always strive for that. Mm -hmm. I don't think... I don't think that there's anyone who has reached the pinnacle of success. Mm -hmm. I can't say like, oh, I want to be like this person. No. Mm -hmm. I want to be me mm -hmm. like in 10 years. Mm -hmm. I want to be the best version of myself always. Mm -hmm. To me, that's being successful. Mm -hmm. What is success to you, Mary? Success to me is being able or to... successful. It, it's being able to say yes to what serves me and having the courage to say no to what doesn't serve me. Mm -hmm. I think and it, it goes back to what Tina said because that is full alignment with me. If you're saying yes to things all the time that, or even some of the time that don't serve you, you can't align with yourself. If you're not aligned with yourself, you can't be authentic. And if you're not authentic, how can you surround yourself yeah. with authentic people? Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's this like dark, dark hole, like a rabbit hole you end up in. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not a judgment. I've been in that rabbit hole for a really long time mm -hmm. by choice. I'm accountable for it. But now I feel so successful internally mm -hmm. because I release things that mm -hmm. and people that aren't right for me. Mm -hmm. Nice. Or even like it doesn't have to be a person. It could yeah. be a process. It could be a job that someone offers you and you're like, you know, I would I would have taken that, but yeah actually doesn't work for me yeah. like those are hard words for me to say going mm -hmm. back to being conditioned mm -hmm. like it's actually sometimes it still feels hard i feel like i have to reach deep out of my throat and pull out the yeah. no but i'm still like saying okay mary you're gonna say no here you go three two one so it's not that it became easy it's just that i'm pushing myself to right. do it so what is it for you um being able to laugh mm. freely and truly being judgmental free from yourself like whatever you do you're not judging yourself mm. like you're so like it's a very like, high standard yeah I'm like I'm gonna do this and I know no one in this room likes it but I'm gonna do it because I like it and I'm yeah. gonna laugh about it yeah 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 that's the ultimate Success to me. It's really about being authentic. Mm. Yeah. I think that kind of radiates among everything we just said is mm. authenticity. Mm. How yeah. authentic you can be yourself at yeah. all times. Yeah. Who you are and radiate that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I want to say this. You know, all of us, we are also trained to be a good diplomat, right? Mm. Yeah, well, it's part of the culture. Also. It's part it's of part culture. Of yeah. yeah, it's part of being businesswoman, or it's part of being in business at work. But this year, I kind of realized, like, I can't sit at the table and believe that you're bullshitting me, and I don't want to keep my face, believe like pretending to you that I understand you or I get you or like you're bullshitting me and I'm pretending like yeah everything is cool like I, I just don't want to do that anymore which throughout my business as I always did I'm like I don't care who they are I'm like this is business right this is business I made all my decisions like that but this year I was like you're bullshitting me and I'm not going to I'm not going to accept this but you have the leverage now to do that 
True. There you go. True. You have the leverage and the ability. You've come to a place in your life where you're successful enough where I can be honest with you and I could tell you, you suck. Yeah. I mean, that's a great place to be. Mm. Or you're lying in my face and I'm not going to believe this lie. So, like, like I mean, that's I think, being authentic. That's being mm. true to yourself. I think we should always do that mm. as much as we can. I somehow I wasn't trained or I wasn't in a place that I could say that mm -hmm. so but yeah. this year this lesson also was so new to me and it was like no no absolutely not I just I just realized like this whole thing is absolutely a BS that you're telling me and I'm not willing to put myself in that situation and say I accept or I agree or I respect that I'm out of here I literally had this situation with this I sat there and I will they will sell they will sell each other they will walk all over each other and I said you know what I love my career I love working so hard and I want to be a self-made billionaire but you guys can sell each other, sell your soul, and I'm out of here. Give me my money back, I'm out of here. And I don't care any of you not approving me, and I don't care I make the least amount of the money, and it's not even comparison to any of you, I'm out of here. I don't believe what you guys are doing. But you didn't believe in what they were doing. No, what they were doing. Or they what were they were like, selling. Uh-uh. So they, they, were, they, were, they were willing to sell their soul, and I'm not going, I'm not going to go there. My career is very important to me, but it has a limit what is it that i'm selling in order to get there absolutely what is it that i'm selling yourself. no you always no. have to check in with yourself yeah, yeah. check so, in with yourself and make sure you're in the right place when you're making those decisions no yeah. matter what decision it is yeah and so i had to walk out and helen need to be whatever i had to be labeled for what helen is hard-headed helen is this helen is that blah 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 but you know what i i learned i need to be true to myself and I'm Ooh. good that none of you think like Helen is worthy or Helen is blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to walk out. So, mm. like, coming to a point, coming to a point, being in a position that allowing yourself. I created this position for myself. So yeah. the position is not given to me. No. I put myself, I learned to be in a position that I, now I can choose what kind of position I put myself into. You know? Yeah. Taking your power back. Taking my power back. And that's important. Every time, like, anything that you want to do, like, I'm sure you want to get different position in the uh, law group that you're working. As an example. As an example. How far you will bend. No. I, I always stay true to my authentic self. Then that gives you the success, feeling of I'm successful. That gives you the uh, feeling of, like, I'm happy. I think it's it's like I don't understand honestly I'm not judging but I don't understand people who don't check in with themselves mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I don't understand people who just are like okay I'm just gonna go along with this because this is what I'm supposed to do for the next step like are you a robot mm -hmm. don't you have an internal form of isn't there a Jiminy Cricket on your shoulder mm -hmm. like think of use your brain like we all came with our own brains and we're all individually ourselves for a reason. Yeah. You have to check in with yourself and really think like from your gut. I yeah. think the gut is important. Is this a good decision for me? Yeah. It's like yeah. goes back to like living with intention. Yeah. I think, you know, you're talking about success. I think people that are successful live with intention. Mm. They live with intention of where they're going, their life is going. The people around them are going mm. what you want to see for everybody in your life I mean mm. you have to you have mm. to check in with yourself you have to live with intention yeah yeah the intention it makes it it gives meaning and purpose to your life absolutely